In this video, I want to go through some more examples of multiplying integers together. So let's start off with the first one, 83 times 24. So 83 times 24, make sure the units and tens line up. We have 4 times 3, which is 12. So put down the 2, carry the 1. 4 times 8 is 32. Add the 1 is 33. So we put the 3, carry the 3. And then you've got 4 times nothing plus the 3, and so the 3 just drops down. Right, then we are multiplying by 20. So we add a 0, and then we could just multiply by 2, okay, as normal. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 8 is 16. So put the 6, carry the 1, and of course 2 times 0 is 0, add the 1, and so the 1 just drops down. We then add together our two results. 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 plus 6 is 9, 3 plus 6 is 9, and we've just got the 1. So our first answer is 1,992. OK. So question number two. We have 434 times 430. Now, first of all, we've got 0 times 4, which is 0. 0 times 3 is 0, and 0 times 4 is 0. OK, so that one was an easy one to start off with. We're then going to be multiplying the 434 by 30, so we need to add in a 0. 3 times 4 is 12, so put in the 2, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, add the 1 is 10, so put in 0, carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12, add on the 1 is 13, put the 3, carry the 1, and of course 3 times 0 is 0, plus the 1, so the 1 just drops down anyway. Right, so we've multiplied it through by 0, we've multiplied it through by 30, we now need to multiply it through by 400. So because I'm now multiplying through by 400, I need to add in two zeros. So I added in one zero because I was multiplying through by tens, and two zeros now because I'm multiplying through by hundreds. So 4 times 4 is 16, put in the 6, carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12, add on the 1 is 13, so put the 3, carry the 1. 4 times 4 is 16, add on the 1 is 17, so put down the 7, carry the 1, and of course that's just going to drop down anyway. Okay, so we've got these three numbers to add up. Zeros, two, 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2, 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6, 1 plus 7 is 8, and then you've got the 1. So this answer is 186,620. OK. Right. So last example. We have 5,231 times 4,561. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 5 is 5. We're now multiplying through by 60, so I need to add in a 0. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18, so put in the 8, carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12, add the 1 is 13, so put in the 3, carry the 1. 6 times 5 is 30, add on the 1 is 31. So 1, carry the 3, and of course there's nothing to add on, so... That's, the 3 can just drop down. Now we need to multiply through by the 500, so we need to add in two zeros. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15, put in the 5, carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10, add on the 1 is 11, so put down the 1, carry the 1. 5 times 5 is 25, add on the 1 is 26. Okay, so put in the 6, carry the 2, and the 2 can just drop down. We then need to multiply by the 4,000. So that needs three zeros to be put in place. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Put in the 2, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. 
4 times 5 is 20, so we put in the 0, carry the 2, and the 2 just drops down because it's got nothing to add on to. So we now have four numbers which we need to add together. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 3 plus 6 is 9. 2 and 8 is 10, plus the 5 is 15. Put the 5, carry the 1. 5, 8, 13, 17, plus the 1 is 18. So put the 8, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4, plus that 1 is 5. 3 and 6 is 9, plus the 9 that's already there, that's 18. So put the 8, carry the 1. 2 plus 0 is 2, add on the 1 is 3. And then we've got the 2 left over. OK, so our final answer is 23,858,591.